Hey guys, Antonalog here, and this is Awesome Gaming Tech at CES. So the first Awesome Gaming Tech that I have is the HTC Vive. They had a lot of cool demos for us to try out there, and the one I tried out was actually a zombie shooter game where the controllers were actually the guns and it had to shoot zombies in virtual reality. It was really cool, the graphics are super realistic, and the tracking on the motion controllers is actually really good. For example, if I would rotate my hand, then I could see the gun rotating in my hand, and it was very, very accurate, so I thought that was really cool. And HTC Vive was really immersive, I really liked it. So the other thing that was a really cool gaming thing was a computer at Kingston's booth, specifically actually two computers, the 7 Gamer 1 CPU build from Linus Tech Tips. It has 7 R9 Nanos and 2 Xeons, and it's just a crazy build. There's also another build in the Inwin H Tower, which actually moves, opens up, and is just a really awesome showcase PC. Uh, it has 128 gigs of the Kingston HyperX RAM. It's the brand new one with the new heat spreader, two SLI GPUs, and high, uh, Predator water cooling, which I thought was pretty cool. We also saw some new Kingston headsets, specifically the HyperX Cloud Revolve and the HyperX Cloud Revolve S. And those are specifically designed and manufactured by Kingston. They have a new lighter profile and design, and they're really comfortable. They're a lot more comfortable than the old HyperX Cloud 2s, which were already really comfortable. Um, I really like the sound quality of them. They have an all-new design, and I think it's a very good headset. So another thing I saw was the Razer Ultrabook. I forgot what the name was specifically, but it's an Ultrabook that can dock onto a docking station that allows it to have full desktop grade GPU power, and it's really cool. So I like the idea of having, when you're outside, you have a mobile computer, thin, light, and just powerful enough to do your daily email or word processing. When you get back and you want to do some hardcore gaming, you can with full desktop graphics, and you can put any graphics card you want in that little dock. It is also actively cooled by two fans, which is also a neat touch. Alright, so the last piece of cool gaming tech was at the Intel booth, and there were the Steam boxes. We had Steam boxes made from Alienware and other companies. I think there was one from Dell, and they were hooked up to a Steam controller, which is pretty weird. It's different from an Xbox One controller in that it has touch pads and little triggers at the bottom. But if you play for a while enough, you will get used to it, and it is a viable option for controlling. Now, Steam boxes are basically a mini PC that they sell. Um, for a lower price because it has SteamOS rather than Windows or Mac on it. And it's pretty cool. You can run all your favorite games on Steam. And overall, that's just one of the coolest pieces of gaming tech that I saw at CES. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Subscribe for more technology videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.